Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and today we are starting our thrips treatment plan. So I have a plan to bring all of my house plants outside, spray them down again, just sort of assess the situation from there. I am treating this as if every single plant in my collection has thrips because the likelihood of that being true is very high and if they don't have thrips right now they probably have spider mites i had a spider mite outbreak a couple of weeks ago and i was kind of lazy about treating it just because i am i don't know a little bit more comfortable with spider mites so it didn't feel like a huge like scary situation so i got a lot of really helpful comments from you guys on my last video where i shared about this whole situation and i do plan on compiling a lot of the things that people said and putting some like treatment plan options out there so that people can kind of like choose which option sounds best for them my solution that i'm going to do is i got captain jack's dead bug brew and this is great for lots of different pests that we experience with house plants this is something that i've recommended before uh, just because it was so highly recommended from you guys so in a lot of my pest videos i have mentioned this it says here specifically that it takes care of spider mites thrips and more so whenever you're choosing an insecticide you want to make sure that the pest you're dealing with is listed because if not it won't be as effective and i am also going to be starting back up with systemics so i have a systemic SNS 209 and that's the one that I have been using. I actually stopped using it since I had the baby just because I have been busy and honestly plant care has been just watering to keep things alive. Like I'm really not doing much besides that. And so I ran out of my SNS 209 and then I didn't reorder it. So I just haven't been using it for like two months probably. And then of course this happens. <laughs> so I'm actually thinking that I'm going to try out a different systemic, not because that one doesn't work, but because I want to alternate with my systemics because if you didn't know, plants can't, or not plants, pests can build up a resistance if you're using the same one all the time. And I've never alternated because the SNS 209 has worked really great for me. But since I'm out right now, I've figured I might as well just alternate and for some reason I cannot find a systemic insecticide in stores like all the space dedicated to that type of stuff in the summer and the growing season gets taken over by Christmas which is fun but <laughs> not fun if you are dealing with a pest in late summer slash fall so I'm probably gonna have to order something online that's what I forgot to put in my order Dang it, I just made an online order of a bunch of stuff and like could not remember what I was missing, but it was the systemic. So I'm going to take out all the plants individually and spray them down with this and then let it sit for a few minutes and then I'm going to spray them down with the hose and I'll probably do like section by section and we are going to do as many plants as I possibly can right now because my baby is taking a nap and I'm hoping to capitalize on this time when I can do this on my own. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I was really excited to bring out the hose for this project because it meant that I could show you my waterproof shoes from Vessi. Vessi's Dymatex technology allows you to embrace the magic of water without distraction or discomfort of wet feet and socks. Check out my actually very dry gray socks. <laughs> They're super lightweight and comfortable and I never have to tie my laces and they also happen to be really cute. I'm loving this brown color for fall. They're perfect for doing plant chores outside, especially with my hose when I'm getting in there watering all of my plants or even taking a stroll on a dewy morning, which I've been really enjoying doing now that the temperatures are starting to fall. So next time you're feeling stressed, grab your Vessies and get out there. You can head to Vessi.com slash Becca plants and use the code Becca plants for 15% off your order. 
Whenever I find a big pest infestation, I like to take the opportunity to just clean off all of my plant spaces. Oftentimes when I do find a pest infestation, I've also lost some plants, so I have a little bit of an opportunity to rearrange as well. So I just took a combination of hot water, rubbing alcohol and dish soap and I have a microfiber cloth here and I'm just wiping down everything. I also am wiping down all of my saucers outside. I'm just spritzing them with the hose outside. I got some invisible cactus spines in my hand and I could not find them but I kept feeling them every time. <laughs> I would go to wipe off this shelf. I do not know where it came from. Anyway, this side of the room was actually the one that was dealing with spider mites and my Silver Bay Aglionema that I'm about to bring in looks so bad and I've checked it for spider mites so many times and I have not found any and I haven't found thrips either. So I think maybe it's just like coming to an end with me, but I don't know. I didn't wipe down this shelf because I was just really weary of getting it wet. So I just brushed it off and put all the plants back on. I'm putting some plants in different places like this biliotier is not usually there, but because the plant, the patriciae that was there has died, <laughs> I needed to replace it. Nora ended up waking up partway through all of these plants drying off outside, so I had to finish off this project the next day, which isn't the most ideal thing, but I have to be realistic about my timing, especially now that I have a baby. Like Stuff like this is <laughs> slightly more inconvenient because it's not my number one priority. It's been kind of weird for me in the last couple of weeks like since I found this thrips infestation to not be able to hyper fixate on it because I have a child and like something that is so much more important to me to take care of and while I'm really sad and upset that this is happening in my collection I have a broader perspective that there's like I don't know a much more important life to protect <laughs> than my house plants and I'm doing my best with this infestation but ultimately there's only so much that I can do with the time that I have right now back for day two of treatment of the plant room for the thrips and I would have ideally liked to get everything sprayed in one day but <laughs> realistically that's not gonna happen so we're back the next day I did thankfully get everything on one side of the room done so I felt more okay with leaving it where I did yesterday because I don't know the likelihood of things traveling from over here to over here in one day wasn't high in my opinion so we'll just have to see but i did find several adult thrips on this one right here my splendid so let's hope that this works because if i lose my splendid i'm gonna be so mad <laughs> so let's get to work but a lot of my plants are still in great condition despite this thrips infestation so it makes me think that it wasn't as big as i thought there are definitely several plants where it was highly concentrated specifically on my philodendron micans and my ty constellation i found adults on other plants but i didn't necessarily see a huge decline for the most part my collection has not sustained a ton of damage so i'm really glad that i found it when i did because i do not know what it would have looked like if I would have left it and I just have to say that I noticed some fishy things going on particularly with my micans but I just ignored it because I just was not in the mood <laughs> to handle it and I'm really lucky that it didn't end up being worse than it is because yeah you can't avoid a pest like a pest will not just go away on its own and I have learned that the hard way several times especially with the spider mites infestation that I was dealing with as I said at the beginning of the video I didn't take it that seriously because I get spider mites pretty regularly which I don't know I think it's pretty normal like part of me almost didn't want to admit that because it feels embarrassing but something that I always say is it shouldn't be embarrassing to find a pest you should actually be proud of yourself for finding the pest because because it means that you're paying attention to your collection and pests are inevitable. It's an inevitable part of owning houseplants. It's gonna happen. There's not much that we can do to prevent it besides, you know, systemics and daily cleaning, not daily, but like regularly cleaning of our plants. If you have a life <laughs> like I do, things can be pushed to the wayside and you don't get to do that regular preventative maintenance as much as you would want to. Perhaps if I had a smaller collection, that would be a little bit easier. But the truth is I love having a lot of plants and I love having my plant room just full and this wall being so beautiful. But we have sustained a few losses in this process. So I think I have about six open slots on my plant wall and it makes me kind of want to rework the wall a little bit and see if there's any 
way that I can reconfigure it so there's less plants on it. I think reducing the amount of small pots would really change the game in caring for this wall because those small pots need to be watered so often. So I'm looking into changes that I can possibly make to swap out those small pots for like six inch pots. We'll see. I'm done with my first round of official treatment for thrips and I feel pretty good about it. I think that that went a lot better than I expected. I mean, honestly, now that I'm over the shock of having thrips, I'm feeling a lot better. And like, this is just like another routine thing that I have to do. I mean, obviously it's not fun. Thrips are very aggressive, but I think that if I am just as aggressive, everything will be fine. So I do plan on spraying them off two more times next week or in the next couple of weeks. So next Monday, I will spray them again. And then the Monday after that, and then hopefully I will be done. I do plan on releasing beneficials after all of that. I don't know, I just feel like I needed something done like immediately and if there's anything residual going on, then the beneficials will come in at that point. And then I'm probably honestly going to have a routine of using beneficials because, I mean, I've never done it before, but a lot of people swear by it. So I might as well, at least like for the next, I don't know, six months or so, just to see how everything goes. Like I feel like once I get a pest, I keep getting it over and over again. There's only one pest that I got one time and I never got it again and that was mealybugs. So I got spider mites for the first time a couple of years ago and now I just routinely get them every couple of months and I'm so used to them that it doesn't feel very scary anymore so I'm hoping that if thrips becomes a regular occurrence which like I really hope it doesn't but if it does I know what I need to do to get rid of them and now it's kind of like well I've done that and <laughs> been there done that and I feel a little bit better so anyway I am so glad that this happened now and not during winter time because I swear if this happened during winter time I don't even know what I would do because I don't really have a place inside where I can like spray down plants. I have a bathtub upstairs, but that's it. So hopefully by winter time, this whole situation is figured out and I'm able to, you know, bring the plants out here for treatment. But anyway, that's all I have to say for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching and giving me all of your tips. Again, I will have everything that everybody said, like a synth synthesized version of the advice. I'm going to put it in the description box so that it's just like easier to find and refer back to because I think that would be super helpful for anybody who is battling with thrips, especially reoccurring thrips, which I hope isn't the case for me, but I'm very like realistic in thinking that that could be the case. So anyway, my next video is not going to be thrips related. So <laughs> hope that you're excited for that. But right now, man, this has felt like the only thing that I can think about in regards to my plants. So hopefully next video will be something more fun. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Bessie for sponsoring. These shoes have been amazing for this process. Like I feel styling and my feet are dry and like, I just, I don't know. It was nice to not have to worry about it. And I don't know if I said this earlier, but I saw people on Below Deck wearing these shoes, which is a really fun show about yachting. So if for no other reason, check them out just for that. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.